Well, a new way to try and get some relief from the overcrowded jail population in Canyon County. Sheriff's Office says they're doing something that's never been done in the state. This morning, the first of more than 20 trailers delivered to Canyon County, and they're going to be used to house the women inmates. It's concerning the neighbors, though, across the street. Joey Prechtel live now in Canyon County to kind of tell us more about this concern. Joey. Well, Brian, right now these six trailers don't look like all that much, but the sheriff was telling me earlier today that once they're all here, they're actually going to all form what's going to look like a completely separate building. He even went on to say that these trailers are actually going to be more secure than the tent that they have across the street from here. But even with all that security in place, the neighbors that I talked to are still concerned about having these and it's, trailers it's out. it's not fair for us. Juan Mora has lived in this house for decades, across the street from the Canyon County Jail. We get in more surrounded by the jail and we don't know what kind of person are they. The latest plan to house inmates in these trailers is concerning to him. They can go in to our basement and we don't know. They'll scare the heck out of us. We don't want that, sorry. But Sheriff Kieran Donahue says these trailers will be safe and secure like the current jail building. It might be a little bit more secure actually because really it's, it's a contained unit, if you will. Once these 28 trailers are put together, it'll look like a building. Right now, only six are here, but the rest will be delivered in the coming days. And once all of them are here, it'll form a new building that can house 122 female inmates. This is a stopgap measure. It's a it's a band-aid on the bleeding artery. We've used that term numerous times. And, and yet it does give us a little bit of, of, uh, of breathing room. This is being called a temporary solution. The lease for these trailers is good for five to seven years. We still need to find a funding source. The county needs to find a funding source to build a permanent jail. Altogether, the 28 trailers are going to cost the county around $12.5 million. And they don't have an exact date on when inmates are actually going to be staying in here, but they told me that they're aiming for sometime in December. Brian? Right when it gets really chilly, and maybe as the sheriff says, it's just a band aid. Maybe people who see these will kind of think we can do better than that when it comes to a county county jail. We'll have to wait and see on that if they try to get more funding. Thanks, Joey.